it looks good, but there's still a lot of changes that we can make. For instance, we have this brown background over here, and when we highlight, we have light blue. We can make that all light blue, and when we highlight dark blue, and then notice it says search up here, but we can't see the word search. So we click on variables, and we're actually going to find the variable that's called search text color, and we're going to change that to white. Perfect. And that way we can actually see the word search. Okay. Now we're also going to go in and we're going to change. We're going to change that contents navigation background color to the light blue. And when we click update, it's good. But we do want that darker blue to hover. We want those links to be dark blue. So all we need to do is go back and copy that from one of our other fields so we have the color. Okay, and then we're going to scroll down. And here we see the contents navigation background hover color, contents navigation border bottom, contents navigation link separator, that's the little line that comes up below, and then the text link color. All right, now let's go ahead and click update and see those changes. This looks good, but when we hover over these left navigation links, I can't read the writing. Um, so our customers aren't going to be able to either. So we want to go ahead and change that color, the actual hover link color. Okay, and so what we want to do is grab a copy of our light color and put it into our contents navigation text link hover color. Then I also want to change the color of our links to the blue that we're using so that way it matches up and looks really nice. Okay, and then the other thing is I'm looking at this and wow, you know, much better. We can, we can see the actual links now when we hover. It matches up really nice, but there's just way too much light blue going on. Way, way, way too much light blue going on. So let's change the background to white and click update. much better much better okay so this text right here is not matching at all let's go ahead and make that our dark blue color and as a matter of fact we can even go a darker blue so let's paste that color in here and find the little circle and drag it straight down to get a dark blue that matches that color okay go back into our Yahoo store and wherever we see that gray color that's being used in the Yahoo store, let's go ahead and replace it. Let's replace it with that really dark blue that we just created in the Photoshop elements that we just grabbed out of there. And let's go through all of these different ones and you're going to see a couple of places where that gray is and like the message title text color. Change that to the dark blue. All right, here's a couple of other ones. Specials title, border bottom, specials title, color. Just go through and paste in that dark blue all the way down and keep going until you're at the very bottom. Now you could make these different colors if you wanted to. I like to stay consistent in the design. Um, it just helps your customers, that, you know, the consistency and they like to see that consistency going on. When you're all done, click update and there's our colors. Everything is looking real good. Everything matches up and, you know, within a matter of basically 20 minutes, you've got a custom logo, you've got a custom design, everything matches up and looks great. Now, add to cart button is kind of looking a little boring.
but don't worry. Head over to our next tutorial and I'm going to show you how to use your same kit to create a custom add to cart button that matches your new design.